Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Usually I'm talking about electric guitar, electric leads, electric pedals, and that kind of stuff. But uh, just a little while ago, I was asked to play acoustic on a Sunday morning, and I thought, I wonder what kind of a pedals I should use for an acoustic. So I threw together a little acoustic pedal board that I used, and I thought, why not do a little video just to talk about uh, acoustic pedal boards. So first of all, do you need one? Absolutely not. I just was playing acoustic, thought it'd be fun to try it out and see what it sounds like, and it sounded pretty good, so I thought, let's do a video in case somebody out there wants to do an acoustic pedal board, because you're playing acoustic a lot and you don't want to be left out of the fun. Uh, so for this, I'm playing my um, Worship Pastors uh, Taylor 812, which is a fantastic guitar. Um, it's got upgraded pickups, sounds amazing. Um, and then I'll take you through the pedals uh, that I used. And I wouldn't actually put together uh, a pedal board for acoustic, I don't play it enough. Um, so it's not worth the investment to me, but to some people out there it might be. So for this pedal board, I just kind of grab stuff that I had. You'll recognize some of it from my budget pedal board series. Um, so this is what I did. Everything is gonna be powered off of uh, a Voodoo Lab Pedal Power uh, ISO 5. Uh, as you might know from some of my other videos, I really like isolated power. It keeps your pedals uh, quieter and your chain cleaner. So uh, if you can afford it, uh, a dedicated power supply for every pedal is great. This little guy, big guy, actually you might recognize is the uh, Boss uh, FB500H, which is from my uh, budget pedal board series. And uh, do you need a volume pedal for for this, probably not, especially if you have a tuner pedal, which has, uh, when you turn it on, uh, stops your signal. But um, I like this one, it has a tuner out on the side, uh, so it's handy. Don't really need it, but I had it around, so I put it on the board. Out of that, of course, you need your tuner. So if you have a headstock tuner uh, or a floor tuner, either one's great, but you need to have a tuner. So my tuner out goes right into the tuner, and then my chain goes into uh, this Boss GE7 equalizer. So I picked this because I had this. I don't have another equalizer laying around, uh, so I threw this on the board, and it's a decent, it's a seven band uh, equalizer. So uh, depending on your guitar, you're gonna wanna set it, uh, depending on how it comes through your system. Um, so I can't tell you exactly how to set it, but set it so that uh, it sounds good. And that's about all I can say, and hopefully uh, in the video, uh, when I test this out, it will sound better than not having an EQ. And there are some great ones out there. A lot of people use uh, the Beggs um, DI uh, EQ compressor, uh, the LR Beggs, is that what it's called? Um, so I don't play acoustic enough to invest in that, but I hear a lot about them. Uh, that might be something worth checking out. Go in your store and look for store and playing through it, see if you like it. Next, I'm going into uh, this delight, which you also recognize from my series, uh, the Line 6 Echo Park. Um, and when you're playing delay on your acoustic, you don't want much. You want to add a little bit of uh, body to it, maybe. Um, but if you've got a bigger band, especially, you're not going to want hardly any delay. Uh, but just to add a little bit of beef, especially if you're playing with a smaller team. Um, but keep your trails kind of short. Uh, and hopefully uh, the demo that I'm gonna do in just a moment here uh, will have some short tails and it'll sound good. Finally, I think, for me personally, the most valuable pedal for an acoustic player is a good reverb. Uh, I've got here the MXR reverb, which I absolutely love. Um, the only reason I don't have this on my main board is because you can't easily switch between settings. So if you have an expression pedal, uh, you can kind of set to a lot of reverb or a little reverb, but you can't switch between uh, the settings, plate spring, epic, mod, room, and pad, and they're all awesome settings. There's not a bad setting on this pedal. Um, just getting through it is, uh, is not easy on the fly. So, uh, but once again, keep your reverb. You don't want a big, huge reverb. Um, it's more to fill out, especially some of the picking parts. Uh, some of the quieter parts just to give it some more of that uh, fuller sound, fuller feel. Um, so that's uh, what I'm going through and then 
Uh, from that, on Sunday I went right into a DI box uh, for this demo. I'm going straight into a Roland Duo Capture um, into the computer, so hopefully it sounds good. All right, so there is kind of a run through of some of the effects that I used on a few Sundays ago for my acoustic rig. Once again, you don't really need an acoustic rig, but if you've got the time, if you've got the money, it's kind of fun to, uh, to have a little bit more effects uh, as long as you don't overpower some of the rest of the band. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you would like to see some other demos or some tutorials, some that maybe you can't find online elsewhere, why don't you put that down in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks a lot.